Pokemon, Pokemon, we want to see keep it on. Pokemon, 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 part 24. I want to give a shout out to Cody for that amazing intro. I love you, you chip eating faggot. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Bilestone City gym leader, Maylene. She specializes in fucking fighting types. And there is my computer overheating like a boss. By the way, guys, the song in the background for this is Leto by Archie. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear it because I generally keep the audio in this stuff pretty low because I want my voice to be the predominant thing. But, uh, yeah, just using some music because it's going to be sped up. Just need something to fill in there because, you know, the game audio would have raped your ears. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Cadaver fans because he sucks. Anyways, uh, yeah, Leto by Archie. Uh, he's a really talented house producer, so, uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out his stuff, then you're probably living under a rock. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so I'm gonna send out Bidoof here, he's my most OP Pokemon, so he should be able to, uh, probably one-hit this Lucario. This Lucario definitely gave me a bit of trouble, um, he took out Bidoof, so you know he's a pretty good, uh, fighting type. Pretty big threat. So Luxio will hopefully be able to save the day. Hell if I know, man. Luxio, it's got it going on. <clears throat> so I've got a bit of a cough uh, from eating boners. I guess I don't know. Moo Moo Milk is going to be our best friend in this battle. Going to heal us up, up, uppity up. We're going to get paralyzed. That's gay. Force Palm, Spark. It's basically just going to be a battle of Force Palm and Spark, whichever can live the longest. I'm just going to be spamming Moo Moo Milks. And he's just uh, gonna drain punch, I guess, I don't know. And then he force palms again, you know. Pretty repetitive, if you ask me, but thank god we get the parahacks off. That is going to help us immensely, because that'll mean, uh, wait. Well, oh no, wait, we're both paralyzed, so it doesn't really matter who's faster. But luckily, I uh, do get a little bit of parahacks here and there. Actually, uh, twice in a row, but unfortunately that kind of cancels out because I got Parahacks myself on that turn, and then I get it again. So it's just like, what am I doing with my life? Goddamn, Bone Rush, don't even know what the hell that is. Just, what do they mean by bone? I, I don't know, man. So, Moo Moo Milk again, spamming that. Uh, he gets Parahacks, so it's like a free heal up turn. Force Palm, Spark to the face. You're out, you're done. Maylene has been defeated. Luxio has reached level 30. Staravia has reached level 26. All she has left is this Machoke, which will be taken out easily by something. I don't know, man. Dude, like, bug it, man. We finally got rid of Lucario. Lucario definitely gave me a lot of trouble. Uh, it took me a couple takes off screen to uh, get through that. Uh, especially because my Pokemon are slightly underleveled, aside from Luxio. Staravia dies, but uh, not in vain. His wing attack does take Machoke down to health, where pretty much anything could take him out at this point. Anything on my team, at least. And uh, Karate Chop ain't gonna do shit. He sucks, etc., etc., etc. Just waiting to a turn where I can get off my Spark, and there it is. That is it for Maylene. Look at that. Alright, so uh, Luxio is level 30, which means he'll be, a, or shield, I, guess, I just call my Pokemon he, because I'm sexist, I guess. Be evolving into... Achoo! Yeah, evolving into his... Achoo! Oh god. <sighs> evolving into Luxray. Luxray was... Oh man, hold on. Luxi... Luxray is one of, if not the coolest, Pokemon introduced in 4th gen, in my opinion. <clears throat> Granted, it's not very effective in Wi-Fi battles, I just think it looks cool and is a badass. So that's our 4th badge, I believe. 3rd or 4th? Let's see, we got Rorik, Gardenia, Fantina, and this bitch. So yeah, that's 4 badges. Uh, Crash or Wake will be taking him on pretty soon, so... We're really close to five badges, pretty much, because we already took care of most of the route to uh, Pastoria, <coughs> which is the uh, city in which P Crasher Wake resides. So uh, now our name's on that thing underneath Barry, because he is a faggot. And Stalker McStalkington's waiting for us again. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't have a uh, voice acting this time. I don't know, maybe she like just lost her voice. Hell if I know. Phew. So I'm still recovering from those sneezes. Anyways, I uh, editing for the win. Uh, got him that Pokemon Center. I don't know, man. 
Yeah, I need that bike. That's what I need. Alright, so we are done with this Vilestone place. There's a random galactic ground. Let's talk to him. He isn't gonna tell us shit. Da -na -na -na. Who would have guessed? Alright. We took care of this particular route in the last episode, so I'm just gonna, you know, skip through it. I used teleport and shit. I don't even know. <clears throat> that wild encounter was pointless. Oh, wait, there's an item up there, I think. <clears throat> so these interview... Well, not interview guys, like... I don't even know what to call those guys. Faggots wasting their life or blocking our way to that lake. Anyways, up here you can find an Ultra Ball. You know, if you're looking to catch something, why the hell not? Can't hurt you. You have plenty of space in your bag in this game. Just a frivolous... Frivor... Fucking pick up items. Can't speak... Uh, some restaurant. We'll probably do that in the next episode. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, here we go. Uh, wait, what the... Who's that? How, how, I don't know how what? it sounds, so here we go. What the fuck? Yo, why are you eating chips in my video? Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I gotta go beat this guy up. <laughs>